First, hello everyone, and thank you for watching my video. I'm Yogi's Electronics. In this video, we will repair a Sony lens 18 to 250 mm with a focal length of 3.5 to 6.3. The real problem with this camera lens is the autofocus feature were not working. So let's start. Now we will loosen all the screws in the inner and outer case. As you can see you have to loosen the inner ring and main connector first to remove the aluminum bracket. Now we still have to unscrew the three screws from the upper plastic housing. And then the two screws on the main connector. As you can see, some screws don't come out easily, just be careful when pulling them out. On the top left side there is a small circle that is magnetized. When my scrubber gets weak I magnetize it again by rubbing or twisting it. Unfortunately, the screw is also stuck, I have to pull it out with tweezers. Now I have to unscrew two small screws from the main connector. And then we can pull out the inner and outer ring. First we take out the little black ring. Be very careful when pulling out the aluminum ring. As you can see on the aluminium body, there is a long pin that controls the focal length, so you have to be careful when pulling it out. As you can see on the brass seal you can tell very well that there has been moisture on it. Now let's briefly inspect the motherboard and the other components. We also carefully remove the small locking screw. As I thought, unfortunately, moisture got in. And some electronic components are partially oxidized. But I don't know what the circuit board looks like from below. The mechanical components looks very good. Now I have to unplug the flat cables and loose the screw to take out the main board. Mm -hmm. 
you have to press a little better at the top, but always be careful not to damage the flat cable and of course the connector. As can be seen, the main chip is most affected by the moisture, and the legs are oxidized. I'm going to clean the motherboard in my ultrasonic cleaner for 30 minutes, then we'll see how the motherboard looks. As you can see, the ultrasonic cleaning device did its job very well. Only one leg is darker than the others. But contact doesn't seem to be affected. I don't want to refresh with a soldering station at this moment because I don't want to damage the pads on the board. I will build and test everything again. I'm pretty sure the main chip is the problem. But after testing we will know better, let's get started now. Don't forget the locking screw. Now I will test the lens, let's see what comes out. The zoom function works very well, and the defective part of the autofocus now works perfectly.